Welcome back to another episode of Karen's Out in the Wild, doing what they do best. And that's being a problem for everyone else. But you know, one demographic that they just love to torment? They're the guys and gals making minimum wage and asking if you want fries with that. Yup, there's been a lifelong battle between Karens and employees. And we're trying to figure out what it is about them that makes Karens tick. Maybe we'll find out in today's video. Do you think Karens and Kevins take up that same tone with the manager the way they do with the employees? Or is that when they calm down and actually respect the other guy? What is the problem? I told you I was going to the bathroom. Okay, well... Wait you don't for... bang twice when I'm telling you that I, you I asked you where the bathroom before. was. You didn't answer me before. I did. The girl said he's been in there for a long time. I was taking a... Okay, I'm sorry. Do you want to know anything else about my bowels? I need my money before you leave here. Okay, I left my coffee cup with uh, a cover on top of it. I hope you didn't remove that. Yes, I did. We are closed. Okay, well, you're going to get a bad review. That's all I know. I am sorry. No, don't I, be sorry at this I point. No it's idea. just what the it girls is. girls didn't know what you were no, doing. No, I took... I told you where I was going because I asked you where the bathroom I was. I can get you a... No, I can't. I dumped it. I, your cup is right there with nothing in it okay. but your napkin over top. Okay, that's what I... I can put that in a to-go cup. That would be you. nice. But you don't why would have, you? Why would you, you be... You don't have to be so rude with no, me. No, no. You, you banged know, on the door twice while I was using right, the bathroom. because I'm trying to get my money. Okay. Um, it, it's not your money, first of all. Second of all, well, it's a $10 breakfast. Well, when I am manager here and I'm trying to close our business, it is my business. It is not a, that big of an issue. It, it is. is going to be an issue for your business when I put a review online. Okay, you do. Attached you... to this video. Okay. To contact your manager. This is all you. You're literally on camera. I'm on camera. We have a hundred of them in the No, room. I've got the video now. Okay, all I want is It's going to be a big money. difference. You'll notice the difference. Trust okay, me. Okay, all I'm trying to get I, is my money. I noticed that. Can you enter your pin here so your card will go through? Do you, you act like this it? is your money or something like that. Like, wow. Unbelievable. Do you, do you understand? I can't go home until I... Do you get finish. any percentage of what I, what I just paid? No. No, you don't. But you do get a percentage of what I'm about to do to you on the But internet. I am going to get hollered at for being here over time. We Looks go. like these guys are right here and you've got no problem. We're friends. We're friends. If they you are, say you want to go get the police, you could have gone and got them. They would have told you I that you have absolutely... I am glad they stayed here because I really didn't know how this was going to play out. I went over there twice and I asked you for your money before you even left. I no, you didn't. Did I not ask him? I said, let's yeah, take care did. of this okay. now. She asked you to pay before I had the credit card already, machine. Then why didn't she clock. ask me when I asked her where the bathroom was? You know, there's no, no, there's no logic. I did go she and say. 20 minutes ago. I asked her where the bathroom was. She directed me to the bathroom. And I said right ago, after yeah, that. Yeah, right. Exactly. Don't I answer that. I said right after that. Do you want to pay your bill she right now? before you went to the bathroom. She just paid it. I asked her where the bathroom was. She could have asked one more time. I don't want to pay you. She says, I'm not going to pay you. That's all you have to say. Leave. Yeah, that's not how it happened. But, you know. All right, have a nice day. All right, well, it's all well. Let's talk to <laughs> Hey, if you have a problem with the rules, write up a strongly worded email to corporate and let them deal with your crazy instead of the bottom of the chain minimum wage worker. Charge for a water cup? So, how much is that? Charge two fifty nine for a water cup. Yeah. And what's your name? My name. Uh. Yeah. How much? Is it? What? Three dollar for one. Huh? I was just wondering why you're charging two fifty for a water cup. Can you just give me a refund? They want to charge me like two fifty for a water cup. That's ridiculous. What? Why would I need to do that? I'm just saying. Did you order something to me? It's right here. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah. So you already ordered something? It's right there. Here you go. Don't worry about it. She didn't charge it. There's reasons that we have to do that to certain because they just fill up. The I've worked in the food industry sector. That's absolutely ridiculous to charge two fifty nine for a water cup. Sometimes the prices really don't make sense. But you know what you get to do in that situation? Leave. Why y'all has got to call the police on black people for what? Because you wrong. 
We're not doing that today. We're not doing that. Call the police. We're going to call them. Call them. Call them. Call them. Call them. Call them. Tim Hortons on Sawmill Road, Dublin, Ohio. Call them. Call them. You want to play? Call them. The f y'all talking about we calling the police. Call them. Over some hot water, I'm not going to pay $2.69 for that little tiny cup. Hi Tech 151, I am calling because I need an officer because I am at the Tim Hortons on Sawmill Road and it's so petty, it's Sunday morning, nobody has time for this. Uh, the manager just called police on me, I'm a black female, I am um, came here to uh, order some water and um, she tried to give me a baby cup and tried to charge me $2.69 for, um, for the baby cup of, of hot water. And you, the small cup of water is only 69 cents. She's getting mad. She's been getting mad at me for telling me every time I come back, she's going to charge me charge me that. And then she's being nasty. She keep on treating me like, you know how they try to be bi biased and be very, very uh, discriminatory to, to your race. And she do this to me every time I come here. So now she just called police on me. So now I'm calling the police so on, on my behalf. And I'm going to file civil rights. I'm sorry. Yeah, waiting for them because she um, just called police on me. Why are you calling police on me? Okay, we'll get officers out there. Okay, good. I'll be great. Thank you. I'm filing the uh, civil rights on her. I'm filing the civil rights on this lady. All these Spanish that's coming to this uh, city, this diverse city, really? What if I just start treating all the Spanish like that? Like how she treated me? It'll never make sense to me how Karens think that terrorizing young employees is their one-way ticket to getting whatever they want. I just want to buy the storage right now, please. Oh, you could? You can buy the Okay, well, can you show oh, it to me? You, uh, you have to do that on your phone. I can't buy storage here? Emma? Yeah. You're depriving me of the right to buy storage so I can record the, how the police harass and terrorize me? Emma, she's still here. The customer's still here and I'm scared. <laughs> She's scared. And she's, she's being aggressive, and I don't want to. They don't want me buying storage at Metro PCS, and she's slandering me. Don't record me while I'm crying. Why are you recording? Why would Metro PCS can set me up for crimes being she's committed? And she keeps being mean. Why don't you want me to buy the storage, ma'am, so I can report how the government terrorizes me and entices people to commit crimes? And she will leave me alone. Why did you want to call your manager before I got to bought the storage? <laughs> ma'am, you're committing a crime, ma'am. You're deflecting on the crime that you just witnessed. I'm um, tears. Okay. You're deflecting that you just committed a crime. Can you, can you just leave me alone? <laughs> yeah, I told her that I wanted to buy the storage and she wouldn't let me buy the storage and she's covering for the hack phone network. Mm -hmm. How can I help you today? Yeah, she won't sell me the storage and she saw that there was nothing going, there's problems with my network. And instead of her doing anything regarding it, she just cried. I, I told her I wanted to buy the storage and she probably me of getting buying the storage. I repeatedly said I want to buy the storage. Okay, storage is said, what do you want as a story? Like uh, more data? Yes, because my phone, she won't help me with the problem that I have with my service. Period. Hold on. As well as no store for years, so can I just, she's not gonna, if you're not gonna correct the issue and let me be on this fraudulent network, can I buy storage? So this is what the government does. They entice this innocent woman to enforce criminal activity. She don't want to commit felonies. So they force her to commit crimes to cover up for their crimes. She's in tears because she don't want to commit felonies with this fraudulent supervisor that they keep calling in to enforce criminal activity. This is what they're doing with your tax dollars. I don't know how old she is, but enlisting this innocent woman to commit felonies is not acceptable. Can you stop recording me, please? I just wanted to buy, I just wanted to have service and not be defrauded out of my funds any longer, ma'am. I just want to be able to have a normal service and not be forced to be on a hack phone network and my life is in jeopardy. And then lied on and slandered because I've been deprived of services for years. I just want to be able to vibe by without people conspiring together to prevent me from reporting the government's abuse. I told her multiple times I wanted to buy this. He's trying to talk to you. I just don't know why I keep getting deprived of services at all locations. I told her repeatedly that I wanted to buy this storage so I can have storage. 
and she forced me to call you and prevented me from buy, purchasing the storage. <laughs> I'm not preventing you. I'm I want saying. to buy the storage, ma'am, since you're refusing to help me be on the, and forcing you me can, to be on. <laughs> you can buy more data. Because I want to buy more storage. Up. I want to buy more storage. To buy more storage, you need to do it on your phone and you need to. You, you can't buy storage here? Man. Aren't there devices for storage that you purchase in store? You can't buy devices here for, for purchase for storage in the store? You can talk to, he said you can talk to him or you can go to another store. Okay, I, so you don't want me to know if there's devices that I can purchase for more storage in the store? You're depriving me of that right to know that and I'm in this store? You can buy another phone. No, is there devices that I can buy purchase individually for storage? Not quite sure why I don't, you don't want me to know if I can buy something for storage. My life is in jeopardy. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. I, I want to. You. I just want to be able to purchase a storage, like you, like every customer has the right. If I want to buy more storage, and having the police come to enforce criminal activity is not acceptable. This is too many schemes, <laughs> sir. Is there storage that can be purchased? Why would she call you to prevent me from purchasing storage? Purchasing storage. I'm talking to you. Why are you gaslighting me? Is there purchase? Can I purchase more storage? You won't. You refuse to fix the technical issues, lie and cover for them. Can I purchase more storage? So can I buy the storage or not? I mean, my goodness, can can I buy the storage? So then they set up for these counterfeits on the phone. Let me look. She's depriving me of the right to let me see what storage they offer. They won't help me. I have to self serve myself. Karen see someone young, naive, and probably working for minimum wage and start harassing them to get their way. That's twisted. Okay, supervisor, I just want to purchase storage. My phone, you were refusing for years to help me with these technical issues, which are crimes. So can I purchase storage? Am I allowed to do that? You can't allow to do that, but first you need to calm down and let me help us out. You can't keep shouting and like- I don't know why the, people, the supervisors that are called gaslighting cover for crime, sir. Ma'am, we are trying to help you out, ma'am. Sure, you you're trying to help me help out, sir. Out. What do you need, ma'am? This would be criminal. I want, I've stated it multiple times, I'm just trying to purchase storage. What type of storage you want? We have a hotspot device, which is a device that should cost. No, I want one of the, because I can't use, I can't use the hotspot. I can't use it in my phone. I mean, people keep breaking into it. You want to investigate it for years. So I don't have that avenue. I would have to buy a hard item, like an item from your store to put the storage on, which is what I'm trying to purchase. I don't want to do it online and by the internet. Next I told her I did not use the hotspot and she covered for it as well as you. For the storage, ma right, but you're not, not being heard. I told you as well as her that I can't use the hotspot. I did not use it and both of you guys are covering for it and deflecting the crime that's going on with your network. So I, I don't have rights. If you're going to enforce the felony crime that's committed on your network, then I wanted to purchase the, um, a card to put it on. We don't have any storage devices in the store. Okay, you no longer sell those? We don't have, a, we don't have those, uh, like you mean the SD card? Yes. The memory card? Yes. Uh, Ali, do you have memory card in the store? So do you, so you help me put it in? So I bought a card and you want to assist me with putting it in? Yeah, because it is something to put it in because we don't want to damage your phone or anything like that. Well, can you show me how to put it in if I purchase the card and you don't want me to yeah. have access to products yeah, I purchased from you? Yeah, we can show you how to put it in. There's a, there's, a talk, there's a side button on it. You have to uh, give her the poker, uh, Ellie. Give her the poker. Where is the poker? <laughs> yeah, give her the poker and show her that, hey, there is a SIM card goes in. She can put the memory card over there on the side. Take off your case. And then on the side, there's a button. With a little hole in it. And you don't want to assist me with how to open this, period. And mom's not, it's not wanting to push out. Functioning. The device is now functioning. I just bought a memory card and can't use it. Yeah, so at the moment it's not pushing Okay, I got it. Okay. Step one of being a Kevin is to get mad at absolutely nothing. Step two is to make sure that everyone's day is ruined because of it. Tell me, she gonna tell me, you know I have to pay for these cups like a nigga don't, what? Come on, fool. Like a nigga not a what? On a day, homies. You know you have to work here. And I said I didn't even want you to, I didn't even want you to ring my shit up. I wanted the, the beautiful black queen to do it. Yeah. Come on. All up. Oh, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. She's going to move aside. Now, yeah, do it. Yeah, do that shit. Do that shit then. Fuck what you talking about? She, 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 she tripping about $40. Think about what? 40 40 <laughs> This shit costs $35. <laughs> on the deck. Here, 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 beautiful. Here, you can have this. Yeah. No, no, here. That's you. Thank the Lord. Here, that's yours. 
That's yours. That little forty dollars that you was pestering me around the store for. Yeah, do this shit. Yeah, put my shit together. Give me my shit. All that shit. Yeah, all that. Damn homies. What are you talking about? Now nigga gotta act ass. Now I gotta act black and ignorant because you try to make me seem like I wasn't gonna pay because I look black. Fuck up out of here, nigga. Nigga, buy this whole store. Dead homies. Fuck are you talking about? It's almost like Karens want people to react negatively to them just so they can validate their bad behavior. Hey, I think I just cracked the Karen code. Me. Her. She's the subject. For this. fun. For content. Yeah. Like just Instagram stuff. Yeah, I do like content creation. Yeah. Around the corner. Thank you. In that building over there? You live in a building over there? Yeah. Why are you asked? Why are you like? Whatever they're paying employees at fast food joints, they need to double it pronto. No money in the world could convince me to hold a straight-faced conversation with a Karen. You're gonna tell me that you can't? Can I scan your app, please? You can't, you tell me you can't can fulfill I, my order. Can I scan your app, please? Yeah, after you can answer scan, my question. Can I scan your app, please? You're acting very hostile. I'm not, I'm asking you to Okay, your app, and I'm asking you, you're telling me you couldn't blend my can smoothie. Can your app so I can give you your refund? Okay. You're holding up the line. No, you're holding up the line. You're holding up the line. I, can I get it? I need you to confirm that you said... Can I get you your refund, ma'am? Would you like your refund? Ma'am? I don't like to be recorded. I don't okay. appreciate it. But you it. told me that you couldn't say. blend my smoothie. Can I get your card so I can... No, get not your until refund. you confirm why you couldn't make my smoothie right. Can you give me your card so I can... Did you hear me? No. I hear you. I'm not deaf. Okay. I'm not. Can I get your... I'm card? asking you to confirm I you couldn't make my smoothie. because you're being very inconsiderate to the people behind you right now and i don't appreciate you recording me and having your phone in my face it's not in your face so it is in my face this is here and you're there understandable but you're being very inconsiderate to the people behind you and i'm just trying to help you out the most uh, i'd like to get your gift card please can you just give me the cash and my receipt with your can name I get on your it gift card? no ma'am can i get your gift card no ma'am give me the cash it's fine You wrote your name on the receipt? Have a good day. All right. Karens truly believe that they have the power to single-handedly bring down businesses just because an employee is being nice to them. You see, I've been in line waiting to get my stuff purchased, and she's still ringing up other customers. Make sure. I don't have to quit doing anything. I need to record why I haven't been rung up yet. So you're not gonna ring me up? I just talked to Mel. She said you're supposed to. Yeah, she said you're supposed to. I talked to Mel too. You're not gonna have attitude towards me. I don't have attitude, but yeah, you're you still not ringing me up. Because no, you're not ringing me no. up. You're rung up. You're rung up. You ain't saying nothing. No, you can stop. No, you, you can put your record. <laughs> you cry. No, she over here trying to record me. I'm done. Well, that's cool. I'm done. What should you talk to? I'm done. I'm not dealing with it. I don't care. I'm going home. She mad she'll do her job. Okay, fire. Fire me. She wants to sit here and report me? I'm going to the police on her team. <laughs> the police gonna do this. <laughs> Maybe the only way to rid the world of a care endemic is to refuse them entry right at the door. So you're telling me you were in the restroom and you were trying to place my order from the restroom? Um, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying one second, please. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Can you give me one second? So you're, hold on. So you're inside the restroom, using the bathroom, while I'm, <laughs> while I'm ordering? Um, yeah, I was in the restroom while uh, you were trying to order. 
and I can't have anyone else order because that's why I was saying, can you give me one second, please? Okay. That's, uh, that's because I, I can't have anyone else order because it's just me and my cook working right now. So you're taking it while you're taking my order? Um, no, I was I, I was saying one second. But you, I wasn't I haven't taken your order yet. No, no, no. But you're using the restroom while you wanna while you're putting me on hold. Yes, I was I was saying, can you give me one second, please? How many one seconds did I give you? Um. I'm sorry, that was like a minute or two, I think. Yeah, bro, do you see how that is? I mean, I came to drive through, I'm waiting here for about four minutes. I kept time. I'm inside there trying to order a fast food, trying to look at a juicy burger. But then again, it sounds like you're moaning and grunting from the toilet. Um, I was saying one second. That's what, um... Yeah, but you left your microphone on, bro. I'm sorry. As if making barely enough to live wasn't a struggle on its own, employees now also have to deal with Karens and Kevin screaming at them. So I pulled up McDonald's and asked them to get an extra caramel frappe with extra caramel on the bottom. And this lady just comes out and starts yelling at me about how I do this every time. And then starts threatening to call the police on me and just, uh, so I don't know. Just gonna videotape it to make sure everything goes kosher. bottom see and now you can go to a different store we will not be serving you anymore thank you have a good day you. you got for what what why are you not serving me please come forward why are you not serving me get out of my drive through i'm now. just asking you why you're because not serving every me. single time we make your drink it is wrong obviously we cannot satisfy you the first time and we're done trying so get out of my drive through okay all right and you guys call my employee vulgar names. Who did I call vulgar Your names? Wife. My oh. wife was I there? Would you please go? This gentleman would like his food. If they could, Karen's would have the customers always right tattooed on their foreheads. I'm missing four sandwiches from my online order. Four sandwiches. And I'd like to speak to the manager. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you didn't see me at the window? Yes, ma'am. You don't have to record me. Oh, yes, I do. Right, I, this is a free country. You. Please do. I want my four sandwiches, please. What's your name? I did not give you permission to report. You need my three. <laughs> you have cameras in here. You have cameras looking at me right now. This is a free country. You do not own this Wendy's. Right here. Sorry about that. You got the police. It's not illegal to film in public. This is public. What? Someone needs to remind Karens and Kevins that the world doesn't revolve around them because what even is going on here? Here's I'm not going to give you free money. No, 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 no. I paid for a meal. Ain't nothing no, free. you did not pay for the meal yet. What does this say? What does that say? Look, this is your order. This what is your order? Say? This is your order on this receipt. This is your order. I don't care what you and put it up. we canceled the order. Okay, then give me my money back. Then give me my money back then. You don't have your money. You do have my money. No, this says don't. you paid for it. This we says, this says have, it was paid for. We do not have your money. All right, call the police then. I'll cause a ruckus over a dollar eight and let all these people wait because you guys want to be cheap over a no, dollar eight, have, something I paid. We do not have your money. I paid it. Somebody got it. No, you don't. Let me show you something. All this is being recorded. So if the police come out here and cause a ruckus and cause a scene over you guys making a mistake, I'm suing the f guys. We canceled the order. Okay, then show me a receipt. Your money. We show me a receipt. We do not keep your money. Okay, then why, why does that say zero dollars and zero cents reverse? I'll be fine with it if, if it showed it, if it showed reverse. You guys took a dollar eight from me already. I don't know what kind of scam you got going on. Your order. Then show me a receipt saying a dollar eight refunded. It doesn't say a dollar eight refunded on there. Is your order being canceled on there? Okay, the order was canceled, but where's my money then? It says zero refunded. Show me a receipt where it says I was refunded. Is That's your order all. Saying, does your receipt saying that was canceled? We did not. Take okay, then show me the refund. We did not. It, they're not refund. We don't. We never took your money. It says zero zero refunded, and this says I we paid. Never took your money. For it says I paid a dollar eight right here, a dollar eight. We never took your money because we never like completed the order. The transaction was not complete. 
Oh, you're being recorded. This is going. Oh, this is going to go viral. I know exactly who to send this to. I canceled your order. You have your money back. No, I don't have my money back. So now what I'm going to do instead, because you have no idea who I am, and I don't care if you know who I am or not, and what I, and what I'm capable of and cause I'm capable of making. I'm going to leave, but you're going to regret it because you're going to get a couple of phone calls. So you know what you can do with this receipt, take it and shove it up. You guys are so professional. I guarantee you, had my skin been a different color or something, you would be more professional because I know what you're supposed to do. I know what you're supposed to do. Sometimes their attitude is so pitiful and rage inducing that it actually starts becoming hilarious after a point. I've asked this lady right here to please process my return right here. The hosts are telling me that they cannot process a return because the manager needs to do it. However, after asking nicely plenty of times, 1227, can you please process my return? It's been 23 minutes. It's been 23 minutes. Ma'am, are you just not going to process my return? It's been 12, 28, 24 minutes. You're not going to process the return, ma'am? Hello? Nobody's going to process. I, I've been giving it's. It's been 20, 12 it's 12 28. We're at a Burger King. I don't, I don't understand. Why can't you just stop what you're doing and process my return? Like, this is absolute. Like, how do you run a business like this? How, like, how do you run a business like this? It took about 20 minutes for me to ask for a return. And they finally processed the return 31 minutes later. Once I asked for the return, the manager, which was in the all black outfit, just continued to ignore me. This is the Burger King on Knob Hill. You go in there, you order food. They don't give you the food. You ask for your money back and they just ignore you. We had to call the police because at that point I didn't know what to do. I'm just standing in the middle of the restaurant with Burger King employees just ignore me. However, after 31 minutes, a lot of frustration, my money was finally returned. Okay, but at what point would these people actually realize that empathy is a thing? I'm gonna need my refund, please. You slamming them burgers, don't nobody wanna eat that I hope you wasn't the one who made my burn burger. Yeah. I hope that's not your burger. He's slamming like that. He's been slamming them ever since he's been putting them up there. Like you don't want to be here. Y'all see, I've been standing here for what? Four minutes. That's the, oh, yeah. Four minutes and 42 seconds. Don't even greet his guest. Don't even apologize. Don't do nothing. Just looking at the burger like it's not burned. Oh, it's beyond. I'm sorry. It's beyond. And that's why I come here. Because I'm a vegan. And you, McDonald's, I don't even, you know. We took our beyond on the charge. I understand that, but it don't need my beyond never look like that, ever. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with Charlie. It's having some issues. Yeah, I'll figure I'll... it out, Chris. Yeah, sorry about that. The hill they're willing to die on is some cold fries. And that's as hilarious as it is sad. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here so I can check my man's order. For the last time I, I went all the way home, my freaking order was wrong. Got to do it this way. Got to do it. Where's my mayo? There's no mayo. What did you say you wanted on? It's supposed to be mayo, the barbecue sauce, no onions. Number two, no onions. Number two, add mayo, no onions. I want a refund. I want a refund. That's what you're going to do. I want a refund. Because that's not right. Don't put it in the cup and I accidentally put it on the sandwich. I don't walk all the way home. I need a refund. I need a refund. I didn't throw anything at you. I didn't throw anything at you. It's on video. It's on video. I didn't throw anything at you. I didn't throw anything. I took it and I set it right back inside. I put it back inside. I did not throw anything. I did not throw. I, um, in a restaurant, I can do that. It, um, by policy, I can do it. By policy, I can do it. Then step off video. Step off video. I'm doing 
doing my job. Stop. All right, then do your job then. If you're doing your job, then there's nothing wrong with me video. Thank you. I ain't throw no food. All I did was set it back inside. If I threw it, I didn't throw it back in there. I did not throw it in there. I did not throw it in there. Trust me. I did not throw it. I put it in there. That's the exact way. I, that's the same way that I did. I did. I put it right back inside. You set it right here, and I set it back right here. And that's all. It's supposed to have mayo on it. It's supposed to have mayo. I added mayo. It's supposed to have mayo. It's supposed to have no onions. They not listening. They not paying attention because I said no mayo. I said mayo. I don't even know what you had. I don't even know what you had. So y'all keep. Like I said, I just want, I just want my money back. Like yo, I'm, I gotta walk back up here. I ordered my stuff at 11:34. I done came right back up here. We're gonna find it for you. You trying to see me? Find it right there. Mister, I don't want to be on camera. Sorry. About that. The refund policy needs to have a strict no Karen clause. Okay, we want a refund on this. We called. And half my food's broken up. It's crap. You guys you didn't do nothing. You didn't even care. I called your corporate, or I tried to call your corporate. It's closed. Your manager, Jeremy, didn't give a the phone up on me. We want our back. You don't throw food in a bag just like that. Okay. Do it all night, right? Yes. Whoever the Jeremy is, he can go to. I don't appreciate being hung up on. I need a refund first. No, you ain't getting refund. I want a refund. I can't do anything. I don't care. This is my this is my money we're talking about. Then remake my meal. Mate, remake my meal, dude. Throw it on the counter. Because it's already open. You call this this and then my freedom. Is it seriously? You can't just rip me off on my money, bro. You know what? I want my money, bro. I can't do anything about it. It's online. I can't. Then remake the meal. Nah, you threw it on the counter being disrespectful. I dumped it out to show you how you guys threw it in my thing. This is where we talked about 244 uh, three Drive. I got an agitated customer that just refuses to leave. I want my money, bro. They came in here throwing the food all over the place. I just. I didn't throw food all over the place. I, the I want my money, bro. I want my money back. I want my money, bro. I want my money back. I'm about to file a lawsuit against Taco Bell. Y'all think I'm f***ing watch. They called the police and they're refusing to give me my money. Who are you talking to? My mom. They're refusing to give the money, they called the police. Let's revise the policy from the customer is always right to no one gets to act like they're better than you because you're wearing a uniform. Okay, I'm about to, I'm about to call the cops. That's you fine, don't want... I want my money back. You didn't even give a chance to talk to me. Why you were rude? I asked for No, no, I'm talking, I'm the customer, and you're being very rude and disrespectful, okay. honey. Okay. I don't like the way that you're treating us, and I asked you for your name nicely. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong to you. Your husband, I, after I don't, two I'm still three talking. Meals, I would like. Three meals. I know, but that's you were wrong, and he said that. So you should have just fixed it. Okay. As the customer, we are right. Okay. You are being very okay. rude. Okay. That's all I'm okay. saying. Okay. You can keep saying okay, because I'm gonna send this video to your manager that's because fine. you're being ridiculous. He already knows. I know. Yeah, so when yeah. they see your behavior, you shouldn't even be a manager. Just give us our money back because I'm we not don't want give it. Your money back. You one, food. one. He he drove off with the the um receipt, and you didn't give him his uh his French toast. That's on him. He drove away, ma'am. So you okay. still cannot say you can't give him his money back because we never got anything, and what we ordered was not what we wanted. So we want our money back. Our you have to. So if the police is coming in, now, you, that's fine. now you're causing that's, that, no, that's fine. you stole that's my okay. money. That's okay. That's okay. We got our own video. We'll see you soon, sweetie. That's fine. That's right. fine. We'll see you that's soon. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Have Let's a nice go. day. That's fine. Let's go. It's honestly the fact that Karens look around to see if everyone else is witnessing the atrocity that's being committed against them. Hey, ever wonder why no one takes your side, guys? Meanwhile, at my local family dollar, Karen ended up calling the cops on worker, and it backfire. Ha ha! Like for part two. No, I don't give a. I don't give a. Respect me. I don't care about your disrespect. Because I was mad. What about I? 
You can call whoever you want. You disrespect me. No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Somebody better do it. Hello, somebody better do it. Somebody better. I'm taking my shit, son. Can we get another I'm taking my shit. Open another eye. Can we get another eye open? I'm taking it. Get somebody else to do the structure. Because I'm taking it. I got money. She disrespect me. She disrespect me the last time I came. She actually came. I went back there and looked in my damn back. I got money. I got money. I don't need to steal. You got me mixed up with somebody else. No, no. I want my sh I want my sh See, you didn't like what I did, right? That's why I didn't like what you did. I didn't like what you did. I got money over there. I got money over there. Girl, don't play with me, girl. Girl, don't play with me. You want, I want my sh I came here. Get the cops. Stay right there. Get the cops. Get the manager. Get whoever you want. This way. Because I'm taking my s*** with me. I'm not getting in the car. I'm fired. Get another thing to do. I'm not taking it. That's right. Baby girl, we all got stuff to do. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm very sorry. It's all right. Get my phone out and call the police. Call the police. Call the police because I'm taking my s***. I'm sorry that you feel the way you do. But I was like that. When you did that to me, I went home. Don't come. I got another job. I got another job I need to go get. Don't come. 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 <laughs> I don't know who you thought I was. I don't know who you thought I was, son. Because I believe in God. I believe that the God up there. Can you please get the manager? Can you please get the manager? That's the manager you're talking to. I want the manager. Can we get another ladder? No one takes their side or takes them seriously, especially not the police who roll their eyes at another screaming and wailing Karen. Hard to win calling the cops backfired Karen versus family dollar cashier. Every line she goes, I'm going. Call the police, son. They're gonna give me my stuff. Remember when I told you this think of somebody else? Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. Yeah. Yes, sir. I was waiting for you to do that.
Let me see. Let me think. Let me see. Let me see. Thank you. Do I have to call again? What? All right. Hey, where's the key with the key? There has to be another cashier. Are you open up the door? Maybe they could experience actual joy for a change if they stop acting like the world is meant to revolve around them. Forward, skip few parts of 30 Can minutes later, cops open are here for Karen. Door. But she opened the line over there. Now she want to take my shit. Now she want to take my shit. I got money. Go ahead, you can talk to her. Okay, what happened? I called you. What happened? I called you last time I was here, last month. Last month I was here. I don't know who she confused me with. But I'm standing here in the car. Right here. This whole thing is full. She came from the back of the country. Came over here. Oh, she stood right here. Take out what you got in the bag. Like I was feeling. I got money. I got money to pay everything I owe. But I was dumbfounded. I, I couldn't believe this lady embarrassed me like that I did that. But nonetheless, I paid my shit enough. I came today. You're going to stand back there and tell me and take everything out of my bag. Then I take everything out of my bag. I tell you, you want to check it? You can check it. But no, she didn't come like the last time. She didn't come from in back of the counter. She sent you to do it. No, you didn't do that. You did. You disrespected me the last time I was here. She disrespected me. She disrespected me. She don't like to be disrespected. I want my stuff. They don't want your, um, customer service. They don't want you. You'd rather have one somewhere else. You know why? You're a You're a And guess what? And guess what? It's cool. Because the next one you do a like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to throw her. All right, you don't have to get in her face. Yo, son, I got you. It's all right. 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 It's all Come for me. Rockway, Newport. Right. I got you. Come for me. Rockway, Newport. Stick it up, you ass. I'll be picking up. I hope the devil takes you. And I'll play on that. No, I'm not. You know why? You know why? Because I believe in God. I believe in God. I'm not going to throw nothing. I believe that there's a God up there. And I believe that you're going to get yours. You Do it to somebody else. Not that she's going to call over there. But I'm a